Hi, welcome to Dr. Vic's Academy. Today we will be talking about Addison disease. Autoimmune adrenalitis is a disorder in which the adrenal cortex is destroyed, resulting in the loss of mineralocorticoid, glucocorticoid, and adrenal androgen hormone production. Clinical Diagnosis Signs and symptoms can be subtle and nonspecific. Patients may experience fatigue, weakness, weight loss, and gastrointestinal upset. Symptoms are gradual and worsen over a period of years, making early diagnosis difficult. Addison disease is usually diagnosed after a significant stress or illness unmasks cortisol and mineralocorticoid deficiency, presenting as shock, hypertension, and volume depletion, also known as adrenal or Addisonian crisis. Hyperpigmentation is the physical finding most characteristic of Addison disease. It results from cross-reactivity between the ACTH produced by the corticotrophs and the melanocortin-1 receptor on keratinocytes. Hyperpigmentation is usually generalized over the entire body and can be found in palmar creases, buccal mucosa, vermilion border of the lips, and around scars and nipples. It is not a feature of secondary adrenal insufficiency because of the lack of increased ACTH in these patients. Diagnosis Metabolic Tests The goal of laboratory testing is to document a low cortisol level and determine whether the adrenal insufficiency is primary or secondary. Low serum cortisol levels at A to M of less than 3 microgram per deciliter suggest adrenal insufficiency, as do low serum sodium and high serum potassium levels. Hyponatremia can be attributed to cortisol and mineralocorticoid deficiencies, whereas hyperkalemia is attributed solely to a lack of mineralocorticoids. A cosentropin stimulation test is the first line test for diagnosing primary adrenal insufficiency. The serum cortisol, plasma ACTH, plasma aldosterone, and plasmarine and levels should be measured before administering 250 microgram of ACTH. At 30 and 60 minutes after intravenous ACTH administration, the serum cortisol level should be measured again. A normal response occurs with peak cortisol levels greater than 18 to 20 microgram per deciliter. A smaller or absent response is diagnostic for adrenal insufficiency. Immunologic Tests Measurement of 21-hydroxylase antibody levels helps discern the cause of Addison disease. The 21-hydroxylase enzyme is necessary for cortisol synthesis in the adrenal cortex. Antibodies directed against the enzyme are specific for autoimmune adrenalitis and are detectable before symptom onset. Imaging Radiographic imaging is also helpful in determining the cause of Addison disease, but it is nonspecific in patients with autoimmune destruction. It is important to make a biochemical diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency before radiographic imaging. Computed tomography demonstrates small adrenal glands in patients with autoimmune adrenal destruction. In other causes of Addison disease, Computed tomography may show hemorrhage, calcification associated with tuberculosis infection, or masses in the adrenal gland. However, computed tomography is not necessary to diagnose adrenal insufficiency. Treatment Hormone therapy Treatment for Addison disease consists of lifelong hormone therapy with glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. To date, there is no therapy available to stop the underlying immune destruction of the adrenal cortex. Generally, glucocorticoid replacement includes oral prednisone or hydrocortisone. Men who have Addison disease do not need replacement with androgens because their testes are able to produce adequate testosterone levels. However, Women can benefit from androgen replacement because the adrenals are the main source of androgen production in women. Patients should be counseled about the need for stress dose glucocorticoids for illnesses and before surgical procedures because destruction of the adrenal glands prevents an adequate physiologic response to stress. 
Mineralocorticoid replacement generally does not need to be changed for illness or procedures. Thyroid hormone therapy in persons with undiagnosed Addison disease may precipitate an adrenal crisis because the thyroid hormone increases the hepatic clearance of cortisol. In addition, patients with a new diagnosis can have a reversible increase in thyroid stimulating hormone levels because glucocorticoids inhibit secretion. Glucocorticoid replacement can result in the normalization of thyroid stimulating hormone levels less than 30 milliIU per liter. In individuals with type 1 diabetes mellitus, unexplained hypoglycemia and decreasing insulin requirements may be the initial signs of Addison disease. In summary, primary adrenal insufficiency, or Addison disease, has many causes, the most common of which is autoimmune adrenalitis. Autoimmune adrenalitis results from destruction of the adrenal cortex, which leads to deficiencies in glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and adrenal androgens. When clinically suspected, patients should undergo a cosintropin stimulation test to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment of primary adrenal insufficiency requires replacement of mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids. Audio jungle. Audio Jungle